Shocking and Current Snapchat Marketing Case Studies Jerome Jar Jerome has a huge social media following. You could call him the king of Snapchat. Jerome wanted to send a story and ask people to meet at Union Square. He was hoping to get 20 people, so he sent a Snapchat video and invited people. Results Jerome sent the video to his 1 million followers and got 142,000 views in just 16 minutes. 16 Handles Coupons 16 Handles is a frozen yogurt chain and one of the first brands on Snapchat. They wanted to create a campaign for the new year. On January 1st through the 4th and on the 7th through the 11th, the fans might get 16% off, 50% off, or 100% off. If they send a photo to Snapchat user Love 16 Handles, 16 Handles would then snap back a coupon. The fans had to wait until they were ready to use the coupon because in 10 seconds it will disappear. Results. People loved the chance to get a free yogurt or pay a lower price. 16 Handles had exchanged more than 1,400 images with users. Sphero BB-8 Sphero is a company that fuses robotic and digital technology into immersive entertainment experiences. They launched a new robot, BB-8, a Star Wars toy. They wanted to use Snapchat to promote it because Snapchat is one of the biggest influencers' platforms. They posted videos and pictures about an adventure of BB-8 in France on Snapchat. With this, they showed their new toy and how to interact with the toy, and it made impressions with Star Wars fans. Results. According to the Wall Street Journal, the campaign saw 10 million views in a day, and the toy sold out in a matter of hours from stores. Gatorade Lenses Since 1984, the Gatorade Dunk has been an iconic victory celebration. The soft drink brand wanted to reach the Snapchat audience on a massive scale with an interactive experience unique to Gatorade. For this year's Super Bowl, Gatorade partnered with Snapchat to create a sponsored national lens that let anyone celebrate like the pros. This lens allowed Snapchatters to experience the Gatorade dunk and share it with their friends. Results, the lens was a massive success, yielding over 165 million views on Snapchat. Taco Bell Cinco de Mayo Taco Bell is an American chain of fast food restaurants. Taco Bell has greatly benefited from Snapchat, but they wanted to get their moment, break all the records, and reach the top of Snapchat. The brand launched a sponsored lens campaign that turned consumers' heads into a giant taco shell to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Results Cinco de Mayo got 224 million views in one day. The average user played with Taco Bell's ad for 24 seconds before sending it as a snap. In terms of unique plays, the campaign generated 12 and a half years' worth of play in a day, according to Snapchat. World Wildlife – Last Selfie World Wildlife is a leading organization since 1961. Their mission is to build a future in which people live in harmony with nature. They needed to find a way to increase donations and awareness of the endangered species fleeting our planet. They launched the campaign Last Selfie. WWF Snapchat followers got a Hashtag last selfie. Users needed to take a screen capture of the image before the image disappeared. The captured image was shared among the user's personal social networks like Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Results. WWF Snapchat accounts became an active awareness and donation channel. After one week, 40,000 tweets hit 120 million Twitter timelines, meaning 50% of all active Twitter users were exposed to it. With headlines in more than six languages, hashtag last selfie raised global awareness and, in just three days, WWF reached their donation target for the entire month. Spark New Zealand Spark New Zealand is a New Zealand-wide communications service provider. NZ's largest telco had a big problem, and they had a lot of haters. Their objective was to convert the haters and build a community of young, loyal customers by using Snapchat. They targeted around 33 locations in New Zealand, and they were grateful with all their clients and gave 4,000 personal gifts to customers. Results, they had over 600,000 views in the first week, reached 71% of their target audience, and got a 9% positive brand sentiment in less than a month. They converted the haters. Sour Patch Kids Sour Patch Kids is a company that sells soft candy with a coating of invert sugar and sour sugar. Sour Patch Kids wanted to increase awareness among its core demographic, candy-loving teens. Sour Patch Kids needed to create fun, 
relevant, and shareable content for Snapchat. To mark their debut on the platform, Sour Patch Kids partnered with a social influencer, Logan Paul. Logan created a five-day series of Snapchat stories. The theme of the Snapchat stories was based around the brand's tagline of Sour Than Sweet and featured a series of hijinks between Logan and Blue Kid, a life-size Sour Patch Kid. Results They got 120,000 new Snapchat followers for Sour Patch Kids, 583,000 impressions on day one, which grew to 6.8 million impressions on the final story of the week, over 26,000 screenshots, and around 1,900 mentions of the Snapchat campaign on Twitter. Lily Pulitzer Lily Pulitzer is an apparel company known for its bright fabrics and patterned designs. They worked with Snapchat to create geo-filters that shoppers could only use in Lily Pulitzer stores. The initiative helped Lily Pulitzer get brand recognition by giving 31 stories access to the filters, and most importantly, gave the campaign a sense of exclusivity. Results, around 100 million young consumers use the service on a daily basis. <music>